Migraines can be triggered in multiple ways. Nutrition professor Susan Mills Gray is here in the Price Chopper kitchen with how we can all use certain foods to actually treat our migraines and alert us to certain foods who could that could trigger a migraine. That's right. You know, we uh, the Migraine Research Foundation estimates that one out of every ten persons suffer from migraines. And we know there's lots of medications out there that mm -hmm. can manage migraines and lessen the severity of an event. But the best advice is always to try to prevent. And believe it or not, there are lots of foods that trigger migraines. The common culprits, coffee. That triggers Chocolate. And, e and the more uh, bitter the chocolate, the darker the chocolate, the higher the risk is for triggering a migraine. And that's a bummer because we're always told to eat the darker chocolate. Well, you've got to remember benefits. all foods have advantages and sometimes mm -hmm. they we find they have disadvantages. Uh, gluten can be an issue. Most alcohols can, may trigger uh, migraines for certain people. So, so they're, they're and be. nuts, aged cheeses, even citrus fruits can trigger it for some people. Nuts can trigger it? Yes. Uh, now, what, what's this? One of the, well, this is artificial sweeteners. Uh -huh. And so, what do all these foods that trigger have in common? Really, four ingredients monosodium glutamate, which you and I call MSG. An MSG and you have to yeah. be careful because it's hidden in everything. Even mm -hmm. chicken broth that you buy in the store. Uh, nuts, again, have uh, nitrates in them. Uh, things like deli meats, processed they have meat. ni nitrates, processed meats because the nitrates keep down the bacterial growth, but they're also a source of a histamine. Oh, geez. And so the thing that I really want everyone to know is that not all of these foods would trigger a migraine for every person. It's a very individualistic uh, condition. So uh, coffee might co trigger for me, but it may not bother you at all. And the other thing is, yeah. is that how much coffee can I have or how much chocolate can I have? So you need to keep a food diary, how much you eat, and when you eat it, because you will start to see patterns. I gotcha, and then put a timestamp on yes. when you got your headache or your migraine. Yes. When it comes to food that you can eat to reduce your risk of a migraine, possibly, uh, you brought some examples here. Lentils, uh, research is showing that the more lentils you have in your diet, the less risk you have to have a migraine outlet. Hmm. Uh, also, leafy green vegetables and cold water fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, trout, cod. Try oh, to avoid vegetable oils, what, uh, like sunflower, safflower. They contain omega-6 fatty acids, hmm. which can trigger migraines. So what would be the kind of oil you would choose for Canola cooking? Canola uh -huh. or olive. Canola or olive, those yeah. are safe. And the one thing that I want to tell everyone is red wine. It's yeah. so healthy for your heart but it also contains histamine, uh. same as pickled products and many of the nuts and these processed meats. Red wine also contains histamines and that can trigger migraines for many people. Susan, thank you. All good things to take into account, particularly if you suffer from migraines.